I have already post-processed this image to prepare it for painting. It might look a little chunky and crisp, but that's the way I want it to look to get the end result I want in the painting. Now we're going to go on up and go to snap out three. Okay, I have a preset all loaded in here, which I'm going to turn on. And this has given us just about the roughest appearance that we can get using this, these particular settings. The purpose of this is to create, create something that most painters refer, refer to as underpainting. The underpainting is supposed to just block out basic areas of shape and color and not have any detail. As you paint, you pull the detail into the areas that you want to put the greatest emphasis on and less detail in other parts of the painting. Well, we have the ability to do this within Snap Art. As you can see, we are in the layers palette. This shows us how many layers we have and what their names are. These effects can be added to the layer to change the appearance of what is already there. As we come further down, here I can adjust the size of my brush to make the mask. I can increase or decrease the feather and I can also increase or decrease the amount of effect. As you can see when the color is darker it's the greatest effect. When the color is lower it's none. So I'm going to put it at its highest effect right now. And I have a layer selected and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the area of the boat that I want to put some detail into but not the greatest amount. So I'm going to just hit these outside edges and that will give those more emphasis and help draw the eye into the interior of the image. You can see how we've added more detail. Now we can adjust that detail by moving the sliders and the two main sliders are the brush size and the photorealism. So I'm going to adjust this. Okay, I brought quite a bit of detail into those areas, maybe a little too much. I'm going to pull it back. Now I can add a new layer. And with this layer, I can increase even more detail. I'm going to go down and make my brush size a little smaller. And this time I'm going to go for the ore. I'll start with that. And now I'm going to move the realism up and the brush to a smaller size and we can see how we have the detail there. Now we can control this and alter it by changing the settings. So we also have thickness down here which makes the paint look like it's thicker. Stroke length, I usually like having that as long as possible. And color variation. Now you can see how we've drawn the eye to the ore, which is the most important part, but also added more detail to the edge of the boat to make that secondary interest area. Now I'm going to deselect these so you can see the results. So if I click on this one and then I hit clear, we can see we go back to that, click on this one, clear, and we go back to that. Now unfortunately there's no way to recover those, but I've saved them as presets. So this is what we started with. This is the first setting that gives us the second greatest detail. And this is the last one, which gives us the greatest detail. Now we can click on show and it will actually show where the mask is. And we can go in and change it. We can subtract. I can click here and go in and actually take detail away. Or I can add. Now I'm going to turn those off because I don't want to see it. Now we're going to say OK. So we're back out to our original painting, our original image in Photoshop. So if I click here, that's what we started with. And this is what we ended up with. So it's pretty dramatic. It was fairly easy to do, fast and quick. This is what I really like about this particular piece of software is the way the layers allow me to create a painting that has a more painterly, realistic look.